guys, Real McCoy 411. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to, I had to redo a video. I put out the results of a braid out, but um, what had happened was <laughs> I'm new to editing and I just didn't like the way I edited the last video. So I'm going to mainly just go ahead and do this. And I'm going to show you guys what I use. And I'm going to take down my hair. And I'll do less talking. Okay? Because I did not like all that I had to say. Okay? Of course, y'all know that February is my month that I did. I'm doing a growth challenge on myself. Just using Design Essential uh, products. Their Natural Care hairline. I used the almond and avocado. And this is just a curling cream. I used that and I put me up some braids that I call plaits. I put me up some plaits and I came out with good results. And let's see if I can do it again. Okay. Now I do curl, put the little coil at the end of the hair. But I'm just so old fashioned I guess. I put rubber bands. Put some rubber bands at the end of them. Probably didn't need them. Put them there anyway just because I wanted to make sure my hair was secure. So, I'm going to put a little oil on my hand. You know, the only oil that I'm using this month is the Wild Growth Oil. I don't know if that's clear or not. But it's the wild growth oil. That's and I'm going to zoom in a little bit just while I take down my plaits, okay? I'm just gonna do it like that. And my hands are oily. And I found my results from my braid out are way much different than my twist outs. It's like I have way more definition. So I think I'm going to be more of a braid out girl until my hair grows. Maybe it'll do different while it's when it gets longer and it will get longer it may not get longer all the way in February <laughs> but it will get longer so if you are new to my channel I would like for you to go ahead and subscribe so that you can follow me on my natural hair journey. And if you're already one of my subscribers, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it, guys. My channel is simply just documenting my hair growth and the health of my hair as I went natural. And a lot of people know that I've been natural before, but the natural that I've been is, okay, cut off your hair, okay, let it grow some, don't, don't worry about moisturizing it, don't worry about taking care of it, don't worry about learning about your hair, don't worry about any of that. And then, when the hair grows, I get a relaxer. Never fail. So this is my first time being on a natural hair journey. Where I actually am falling in love with my hair. Spending time with my hair. Learning about my hair. I didn't even know it was so much that you could learn about hair, guys. But it is.
For example, I have learned that I have low porosity hair. I have learned that I have medium density hair. I have learned that my hair type, according to the chart, is a 3C4A, and I'm still kind of in the air about that because sometimes I don't see the 3C. But then when, when I do a wash and go, I see the 3C, and then sometimes when I wash my hair, you see the curls, so I see the 3C. So, um, so you learn what products to use on your hair, um, what helps your hair absorb moisture. You learn so much. It's so much for you to learn about when you when it comes to you taking care of your hair. And I am loving this journey. I'm telling you. You learn what products go together, what products don't go together. It's an awesome journey. Awesome. You see the definition? This is so much definition. So much definition. And I did a wash and go. So... That's the hair that I started on. I started on a wash and go, and last night, I just plaited up. And I was like, okay, let me get something out there. I'm not going to mess with it that much right now. Right now, I'm just going to separate it. But you guys... Get the definition. It's just from using one product. One product. And this here, pay, pay that no attention. I'm going to jail that back. <laughs> I'm going to jail that back. I, I knew last night when I was trying to braid, I was like, eh. So I have been watching so many videos, guys, and you learn so much from watching these these young ladies that's been on this journey forever. It seems like like they've been on it forever, and you learn so much. And I'm so happy. It's like I want to get to that point. And I'm going to get to that point where I'm going to know so much about my natural hair. That people are actually going to be like, you know what? Hey, let me let me go over to Real McCoy four one one and see what she say about this product and how this product worked for her, because she has the same type of hair characteristics as I do. So that's what it's all about. Nobody has the same hair, but we all have similar characteristics in our hair. And you find a person that has the similar characteristics and the hair type and everything as you, and that's where you go from. So, did I get it all down? One tip I can give you is when you're putting your braids up. Don't worry too much about the part, about parting your hair, because it makes it more harder when you're filling it in to cover all those parts and connect those parts. And, and you want to kind of separate it from where it will, it will let you. If, it, if you see that it's not an area where you can separate it and the hair does not want to come apart, leave it.
because you do not want to over manipulate your hair. And I know I probably have space back there, but you see how I'm just taking the hair that's loose and I'm kind of just feeling it, filling in those spots. This is what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to turn around to the back. <laughs> so that you guys can see it. And I don't know if it's a lot of open parts. I, I don't think it's a lot of open parts because I didn't part my hair. I would just grab a piece and plait it and put the cream on and plait it. So, if there are open parts, the only thing you have to do is just get a mirror or something and look back there. And just pull the hair in the direction that you want it to go. Okay. Now, as far as the front, I can see. And you just play around with it for a little bit without over manipulating it. Because you can. Trust me, I have. And now, I'm going to take some extreme wet line gel I'm just going to brush back this side and you can style it any way you want it does not have to stay like down you can uh, I'm telling you, watch some of these hair tutorials that these young ladies put out. Honey, you will learn you can do so much with your hair. And I'm going to get me a Barbie pin. I should already have out. Yep, I do. And I'm going to grab this piece right here. And just to secure it, secure it. I want to put that right there. I don't think I'm going to put this side up. I could. I am. Just using some of my gel. And I'm going to get me a Barbie pin. I'm going to grab and twist the area that I'm going to place the Barbie pin in. And that's it. I'm going to rock this today. It has so much volume, you guys. It's so soft. The camera is really not doing justice. It's really not. Um, and when I was talking about the pick, I mean, you can go from the roots and, like, set it up. Like, just just from the roots. I mean, and make it bigger. You want to make it bigger, you can make it bigger. Just, and it makes it look so much fuller. But once again, you do not want to over manipulate your hair. Okay? So, this is my braid out. I'm not going to over manipulate it. Manipulate it. Adding just a little gel right there.
And if I wanted to add a bobby pin, I could add one right here. But I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it like this. So, this is the back of my hair. I didn't do much to it. I just took down the braids, separated them. Hopefully, not leaving no holes. And if you want to get it bigger, I don't have enough hair to just get it bigger. You can use a pick or a wide tooth comb. But as I go throughout the day, my hair is going to fill in. So that's something else I learned. Just let it do, let it do, let it do what it do. So that's it, guys. I'm going to add my little lip gloss because I don't wear, I don't wear makeup like I should be. That's good enough. Hey, she ready. As Tamar Braxton say, baby. She ready.